How long are we going to be here? Maybe 48 hours, maybe 10 minutes, I don't know. Just live for the minute, Doc. I got all I want. A nice, quiet summer's day in the country. Did you hear this? Boy, somebody should get me. Let him. We had our turn, and in spades, too. Now hold on, item six. I got the now, sir. Item six? Tom, what's the report? Sorry, Colonel, but Captain Craig's dead. This is Lieutenant Peterson. Oh. Well, give me a rundown of the situation up there, will you, Lieutenant? We have about 60% casualties, sir. What? Present effectiveness. I should say nil, sir. We need replacements, and fast. Well, I'll tell you a secret, Lieutenant. The battalion has already had its replacements. You know how many we got? Ten. Ten men for the entire battalion. Yeah, I know, I know. We just don't have any choice. You just hold tight up there, and I'll... Uh... I'll try to send somebody to relieve you. Thanks. <sighs> Give me King Company. Yes, sir. Combat. A Selmer production. It's morning, all right. Why? This here King Company, second platoon? Yeah, and we're selling it cheap today. You want to buy it? I'm the replacement. The replacement. Name's Lovelace, Mosby Lovelace. Lovelace? You got something again, my name? No, it's too early in the day. Where'd you get those boots? Uh, they gave them to me at the Ruffle Devil. They gave them to you? The Army gave you these things? They're a new stuff. A couple of us boys got them. Mose Bay, you sure got lucky. Nobody issued boots like that to us. The only thing they issued us was wet foxholes. <laughs> Say what, Mosby? Give you 20 bucks for them. Well, I ain't selling. Any Georgia boys in this here outfit? No, no Georgia boys here. How about, uh... 30 bucks. Ain't selling, I said. Any Mississippi boys? 
None of them either. Forty bucks. I said I ain't selling. Looks like I got put in the wrong outfit. Not if you sell me those boots. Okay, now there's my last offer. Fifty bucks. Listen, Sergeant. If and my grandpa could see me now, he'd turn over in his grave just knowing one of his kin was in the Yankee army. But if I was to sell my shoes to a Yankee, he'd raw right out of his grave and kick me bow-legged. That's what I come up here for, Sergeant. You're gonna kill me a mess of crowds. Real tiger, huh? Yep. Well, I'll tell you something, kid. We don't see too many crowds up here. They got a habit of keeping their heads down. You boys don't, though, do you? Yeah, we do. Because every time we put up our heads, they got another habit of shooting at us. Of course, we're trying to break them in that habit, but it'll take a little time. I never was much for ducking. Pull it in the head's a Yankee trait. Well, we're finding a kind of a funny war up here. See, if we take one hedgerow in one day, we think we're doing pretty good. And if we take three hedgerows, why, then we... We get down to the corner bar and we... We get loaded. Don't you boys ever fight out in the open? Tell it, Brad. It's against the rules, Lovelace. You get out of the open and they penalize you 50 years of your life. I don't reckon to go around ducking behind something all the time. Well, that's a good idea. Now, one condition, you leave me those boots and you will. Don't figure I'm getting myself killed at all. Maybe not, Lovelace. But when you talk like that, you sure got a good start. Hey, here comes the chief. All right, off and on. Let's go. Well, let's move. Get the lid out. What's up, Lieutenant? We're taking over for item company. Why? Nobody told us we were in reserve. Yeah. Nobody told us we weren't, either. Come on, Sergeant, saddle him up. All right, Tiger, sharpen your teeth. Maybe you can fight somebody. Come on, let's move it! Right, show Walensky, Doc, let's move it. Nobody ever tells us anything. I'm gonna write my congressman. I don't think he knows I'm here. Pick up, Cage. What's the matter? We're getting ready to go back up the front lines. You mean to say I've been sleeping two days already? To the minute. Okay, let's go. I wish I was on a nice, cool deck of a destroyer right now, about 500 miles out in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> don't they have any other reserves but us, Sarge? It's me, Braddock. Hey, why don't they call up some of those Piccadilly commandos? Then they'd have reserve for three armies. Don't fight a cage. There's a brighter side. If we're relieving item, we're going into previously prepared positions. No digging. Okay, let's go! Come on. <coughs> My beans! You dumb pa. said no digging. Oh, shut up. You need the exercise. The only exercise I need is a long distance swim back to New York. You keeping busy? Yes, sir. Why aren't you digging a foxhole? Sergeant, I come up here to, to fight, not to dig holes in the ground. You come up here to obey orders, and I'm giving you one right now. Dig a hole. I don't actually prefer to be in the Yankee Army in the first place. 
This isn't the Yankee Army, Lovelace. This is the United States Army, and while you're in it, you'll do as you're told. Now, dig. Yes, sir. There's no cause to get riled about it. Soldier, if I really got riled, you wouldn't like it at all. Holes in the ground, and top passel of them. Whistling rabbits. Then I'm born, I'm born, I'm born. Den Deutschen, den Schulden ist gar nicht. Nicht, die haben mich aus der Heimat gerissen. Die haben mich in die Verstehe, Uniform ich verstehe. Ja. Die sind in Polen. Ja, ein Polen. Das ist ein alles. Polen. Das ist alles. Dann. Bin ein Polen. Dann. Ein Finish, Ich bin ein Polen. Ich bin ein Polen. Ich bin ein Polen. Ich bin ein Polen. Well, Ted, what'd you learn? Hitler cut his throat yet? <laughs> no such luck. Well, what was the P.W. sounding off about? He says he's Polish, hates the Germans. You believe him? Don't know, frankly. I don't know about something else he said. What was that? He claims that all the German troops in this sector were going to be pulled back a mile. A mile? On a 2,000-yard front. He might be telling the truth, Ted? He might. Well, if I were planning to attack and the front lines were only three hedgerows apart, first thing I'd do would be to pull my own troops back far enough so they'd be out of danger from my own artillery. Well, there's one way to find out. There'll be some patrol action tonight. I not meaning to ask you. How do you like officer's mess? Oh, it's great, sir. Including the beautiful waitresses. Always happen at home, too. Just when I was sitting down to eat dinner. King Six. Oh, yes, Colonel. Now we've straightened out the line, we're all dug in. What? Yes, sir. Mm hmm. I understand. Right. Never a dull moment on the all-complete tour of sunny France. What's up, sir? The Italian had a report that the Krauss may have pulled back a mile along our front. They want confirmation one way or the other. Confirmation? That's a nice educated word for patrol. Officer, sergeant, and four men. As far out as they can go. All right, I'll take them. I have time to finish my, uh... Cherry's Jubilee before I go? Sure, live it up, Lieutenant. Eat, drink, and be merry. Please, sir. I know the rest of the line. Hey, Frankie. Hey, Sergeant, you got a cigarette? How about a cigar? Yeah. You're too anxious. Hey, I'm exercising. Don't overdo it. Okay. This is a very nice foxhole. I'm very proud of you. Well, I sure ain't. Why not? Because a brave man don't hide in no hole. He stands up and meets his enemy face to face. That's the way they done it in the war between the states. Well, you see, in World War II, we got a thing that's called firepower. Excuses. Where'd you get your training, Lovelace? Fort Benning, Georgia. Well, didn't they tell you anything about it? Oh, they told me a lot of things. But there's Yankees even running Fort Ben in Georgia these days. <laughs> Look, I'm going to tell you something. You just get it through your head. You are in the United States Army. Whether you like it or not, Georgia is part of the United States. Now, look, it'll make you feel better. I'll offer you 60 bucks for these boots. Sergeant, you wasting your time just like me. What do you mean, just like you? Well, the only way you're going to win this war is by fighting. And you don't do no fighting from a hole in the ground. I don't know. Well, just you wait and see. No, I ain't going to wait too long, that's for sure. The new Yankees don't heave up off your haunches and start doing some fighting. I'm just going to have to get put someplace else. Sergeant Saunders. Yes, sir. See you for a minute. 60 bucks. 
No, Sergeant. <laughs> Sergeant sure does want those boots, doesn't he? Yeah. Well, I can't say as I blame him. Well, he ain't gonna get them. They're the only good things the Yankee Army give me. Except for my rifle. Are they kidding? Nope. All right, let's go. Get around here. Everybody, come on, get around. Come on, move it. Braddock, come on, Braddock. Okay. All right, gather around, at ease. The lieutenant and I are taking out a very exclusive group tonight. I'm going to pick four tuxedo-type volunteers to go along. Sounds like us to me, Sergeant. I said I'm going to pick four volunteers. You mean I can't go? All right. I guess it's time you started learning, Lovelace. Just a minute, Tig. I'm not finished. Braddock, you need the exercise. Ah, uh, you say that every time. Well, it's true every time. Walensky, you go. Thanks a lot, Sarge. Don't mention it. Reicher, I guess you know I need you. Ich weiß warum, Herr Feldwebel. That's right. All right, we'll take off at 2100. Now, when all the men that are going on the patrol to put mascara all around their big blue eyes and all over their faces. Everybody got that? Yeah? OK. OK, that's it. What's these patrols like, Sarge? Like? You ever been on a turkey shoot down in Georgia? Sure I have. Well, a patrol is just like a turkey shoot. Except you're a turkey. into a crowd patrol. If they don't see us, we ignore them. If they see us first and open fire, we disengage and move out fast. What? You heard me. All right, everybody stay five yards behind the man in front of him. All right, let's go. Get rid of that bot, soldier. Sir? The helmet makes too much noise going through a hedgerow. We know they've moved back this far. So now we know, so let's get back. You got a problem, Braddock? No, but this thing's getting hairier every minute. I want to find out how far they've moved back. I was afraid you would, Lieutenant. Let's go.
go any further, Lieutenant, we'll wind up in Paris. I'm not gonna get to Paris tonight. All right, let's go. think you're doing? Taking my boots off. What are you, bucking for Section 8? Sergeant, I don't figure on getting my shoes wet. You just listen to me. You're on a patrol. I'm just protecting government property like it says in the book. Just forget the book. Now get across there. Come on, get across there. Jackson wanted to go waiting, barefoot. Are we going on, Lieutenant? No. We've come out over a mile already. I don't think... Company. So here come Sie. Yeah, the Panzer, Jungs, they have it erreicht. Wir armen Teufel müssen um zwei Uhr morgens aufstehen, um diesem Kerl in das Lenny Panzerfeld zu zeigen. Man könnte glauben, diese Schweinehunde könnten keine Karten lesen. <lacht> Aber jene, die brief mal morgen. Hier nicht. Ja, ich weiß. Soll mir recht sein. Und ich zeige Ihnen den Weg. Dann fahren wir runter und trinken eine Tasse von diesem schlechten französischen Kaffee, nicht? Woods. It's about two kilometers down the road, they said. Just those tanks? Any others? They didn't say. But one of them said the tanks were going to attack this morning. Attack who? They got any alternatives, Lieutenant? What else did they say? Well, they said French coffee was lousy. Did anybody tell them the cognac kills the taste? Been better if we'd stopped them tanks right here. Yeah, sure. We could all went out in the middle of the road, dug a hole, and just let them fall in. We all got grenades, don't we? <laughs> What do you think those tanks are made of grits? That's on my plate. You never even try nothing. All right, knock it off. Let's get out of here. Diamond formation, going back. Krauts, get both you of heard them. the order. We don't fight. Are you trying to get us killed? Those two shots could wake up the whole German army. Did you fire those two shots? Did he? Now you listen to me, soldier. You fire that rifle once more, and I personally will shoot you. Got it? Got it. Got it what? Got it, sir. Now let's go.
Ist dort. Kamerad, was ist das Stichwort? Uh, das Stichwort ist, ist, uh I'm hit. Bad? Sure. I don't know. The song is... Okay. Braddock. Fit as a fiddle. Wilensky! He's here with me. He got it, Lieutenant. Mosby. Mosby! I can't get them from here, can you? They raise a finger, they shoot it off. No, I just found that out. Hart, wir verschwenden nur Zeit und Munition. Schleiche durch die Hecke bis an ihre Flanke und dann schieße sie zusammen. Jawohl.
me, Lieutenant. Lovelace? Still want to take that shot at me, Lieutenant? What? Nice work, thanks. Let's see that shoulder. You did it, huh, Lovelace? Sergeant, I've been telling you that's what I'm supposed to do. The draft board expects it of me. Rice, the only one got hurt? No, Walensky's dead. Dead? Saunders sent somebody out for him after it gets light. Come on, let's get cracking. Well, let's move, Lovelace. Oh, y'all go on, Lieutenant. I'll catch up with you. What for? I left my boots down at that creek. You... We'll wait for you for five minutes. Yes, sir. By the clock. Yes, sir. I'll, I'll hurry. Nein, hier, hier auf die Sohle ist eine Schutzmarke in Englisch. Hm? Die müssen einem Amerikaner gehören. Aber warum wird ein Amerikaner seine Stiefel hier lassen? Keine Ahnung. Aber wenn die Stiefel da sind, dann muss die Amerikaner auch in der Nähe sein. Ha? Oh, ja. Vielleicht kommt er wieder zurück für Sie. Warten wir doch hier. Oh, ja. wir warten hier ein bisschen. Ja. Oh ja. Geh auf die andere Seite. Und schau dich um. Hm? Ja. Wir warten hier. It's close, Humphrey. Humphrey, are this close? Thank you. 
Don't move! All right, now the rest of you. How do you say surrender? You know, give up? Any of you fellas speak English? Yeah, I speak a little. Now, that's just fine. Now, drop your rifles. Your gun belts, everything. Okay. It's more than five minutes, isn't it, sir? Yeah. Did you hear any more firing? Just the one time. Sounded like a schmeiser. We can't wait any longer. Let's go. What about Lovelace? We'll have them look for them when they come out to pick Wolanski up in the morning. Let's go. Now, I'm going to take y'all back to the Yankee lines, you hear? When you get over here, I want you to walk in front of me, single file like good little engine. And the first engine that tries anything is going to get stitched right up the middle, you understand? Yeah, I understand. Figured you would. And seeing as how you speak English so good, I'm going to give you the honor of carrying them boots of mine. And you take mighty good care of them, or you'll be the sorriest crowd this side of perdition. Now, come on. Come on, move! Move! Come on, pick it up! How you doing? Can't sleep, Catch? No, I'm not sleepy. Did you hear it? Hear what? All that firing out there. Well, it sure sounded pretty close. You know, I still have a feeling it's a patrol. Night, everything sounds right on top of you. Mm. Could have been five miles out somewhere. We thought you guys would never get back. All right, knock it off. We're not finished yet. Braddock. Braddock, you stay here. Thanks, Lieutenant. Sergeant, you and Rice should come with me. Don't you want me to take a look at it? No, I want him to go down to Battalion Aid Station. I gotta sit down. I either been on my feet or my stomach all night long. Oh. Wolinski and Lovelace got it, huh? Wolinski got it. Lovelace, I don't know. I mean, what do you mean you don't know? He went back for his boots. For his boots? Yeah, a real cotton pick an oddball, Lovelace. What was he doing barefooted? He didn't want to get his boots wet crossing that creek out there. And you guys let him? Nobody asked my opinion. He wanted to. And that's when he got it, huh? <sighs> yeah. Yeah, old Mosby, Lovelace. He must have died with his boots off. Wahnsinn, durch das Minenfeld durchzugehen. Ja, das sieht vielleicht auch. What y'all jabbering about? Of Minen. The mines. Uh, this field, it is mines, you know. You pick up them boots. Mind, eh? Just who mined it? Oh, oh, with it, uh, engineers. And I reckon you know where you put the mines. So you walk where you didn't put them, and we'll all come out on the other side in one piece. Uh, but but, but uh, it is almost certain death to go through this field. Mister, if you don't get a wiggle on, it's certain death, too, and know almost about it, neither. So y'all get cracking here. Yeah? Move! Betty. Mine? Yeah, cut you right off at the hip pocket. 
Do you think it could be Loveless? I don't know. Right here, sir, near Laney Wood. That's where we saw them. That's where they were bringing up all the heavy stuff I told you about. Looks like a perfect setup for rockets. We just might be able to give those crowds a little bit of a surprise. Give me checkmate, blue six. All right. <laughs> what? What? The guy's got a right to get some sleep, don't he? Come on, Braddock. We're moving out. Hot food? I've been there, Sarge. Very uninteresting country. I don't think it's worth a second trip. I know, but maybe you'll like it better this time if taking down all the billboards. You mean it, another patrol? No, this time everybody's invited. The Italian decided it was a nice mile of unoccupied ground. They want us to stake a claim to it. You're in the real estate business, Braddock. When? Any minute now, they're going to send over the rockets, and then we're going to move in. I'll leave you a bedroll here, huh? What about Lovelace? I don't know. I got a feeling about old Lovelace. One minute doesn't want to get his feet wet. Next minute he's coming on like the third day at Gettysburg. I got a feeling. Yeah! Woo -hoo! Sergeant! Quite a night, huh? Kind of busy. I had me four of them, but one fella stepped on a mine, the other fella got involved in it, to his misfortune. How come you came in that direction? Oh, I reckon I zigged when I should have zagged. Come up in on the Baker Company front. Oh, and you know something, Sergeant? There's two boys from Biloxi in Baker Company. Twin boys from Biloxi, Mississippi. Gonna do me a heap of visiting over there. Well, not today you won't. We're moving forward pretty soon. Well, now. You Yankees move pretty fast once you all start moving, don't you? Yeah, but don't want to get around. What's this? Oh, let's take a look at it. This looks like a map for a minefield. I should have known, Dad. These fellas was laying mines all night, they told me. Well, it's going to save us a lot of trouble. Braddock, get yeah. this right back to the lieutenant on the double. He'll know what to do with it. OK, Sash. Frankie, take these prisoners down to the company CP. Huh? All right, you heard him. Come on, Schnell, let's go. Wait a minute. Did you come all the way back barefoot? Of course I did, Sergeant. Georgia boy's just as good going barefoot as he is at kissing pretty girls. 